with a tray under here to catch any excess. Just gonna give this a good spray off just to try and clean it up initially. I'm just using some degreaser at the moment just to kind of clean this off. So to clean this up, I need to get all this old silicon off this surface here. Um, and this silicon's got quite hard and brittle, so it should come away fairly easily. Um, I'm just gonna gently use a scraper initially, just get the bulk of it. Be careful, this end is aluminium here, so you really don't want to gouge into that. Next, I'm just gonna use a little bit of a wire brush. Sometimes there's a little bead of silicon that has squeezed its way up onto this lip here and on the back, so make sure you get that as well. So this up in here is the oil feed into the engine, so I just wanna make sure that nothing has flicked its way up into there, and that that's all still clean. I'm now gonna spray it off with some brake clean. And then a clean cloth, and just go right around. Um, you can't, make this too clean, so spend a bit of time. Usually what'll happen is once you've cleaned it the first time, um, you'll clean it off and then you go, oh, I missed some. And you'll come back and have to do a bit more. Okay, I've cleaned that fairly well now, but I'm gonna go check my sump and get that sorted, and then I'm gonna come back and give this another wipe over. So um, spend the time, make sure that you've got that as clean as you can get it. Okay, so I've just been sent this as a replacement. It's absolutely filthy. I'm gonna spend some time off camera cleaning it up. But the first thing I wanna show you is just removing this baffle. Um, this is a T3 Torx fitting. Right down in here. Now, depending how much oil is still in yours, may be really quite hard to see. And it's really quite tight. Just loosen that one off. that one. Now zip these out. And again, these don't, they're captive bolts, they don't come right the way out. And we'll take that out like that. Um, I'm gonna go spend some time cleaning this up and um, the magic of editing, I'll be back shortly with it all cleaned up. Okay, so I've spent some time, I've just um, given this a quick pressure wash off. By no means is it brand new, um, but it's certainly serviceable. Again, new seal in here. I'm gonna put the sump plug back in, just so I don't forget later on. Now it's pretty clear what you do here. It says 14 Newton meters. Um, so you can get your torque wrench out and measure that. Now, although I've cleaned this off, we still have a lot of silicon around here. Um, and this is not yet ready to put back. So the pressure washer got all the grease and oil off, but we do need to clean this old silicon around this surface. Now be aware that this is aluminium, so you don't want to get like a blade and be pushing in here because it's fairly soft and you can gouge it. I'm just using a fairly soft wire brush. Um, and I want to get rid of this stuff that's in here as well. So with a wire brush, you can see it comes away quite quickly. This one's still got the bolts in there. Gonna have a couple of extra bolts at the end. You can use power tools to do this, but um, sometimes I feel with the power tools, I take too much off, so I just don't want to cause any further damage. Now, pay particular attention to this groove that's around here, and just make sure that there is no silicon in this groove. Um, this groove here is designed so that when we have some silicon 
on here and we squeeze it back together, any extra will go into this sort of waste channel so it doesn't go down into here, which is our oil feed, because um, we don't want pieces of silicon down in there. So definitely make sure that this channel is nice and free. Now also have a close look at these holes. Um, this one has silicon that has sort of gone into these holes and caused a bit of a mess. They should be nice and clean like that one. Um, so I'm just going to grab a drill. I'm not drilling the hole, I'm just drilling out the silicon. Also, before we put it back, we want to have a little look at these things. So these just catch any major pieces of debris coming up from the oil. This was from the spare sump that I got, or the second hand one. And you can see a lot of these are blocked. And there's little pieces of carbon and sludge, etc. Um, this is the one from the car we're working on, which is actually good and it's clean. But we are going to clean that out again, make sure that's perfect. Also, we want to make sure that it's clean just down in there. I just don't want to put it back when it's dirty. These bolts stay put, they won't fall out. Um, so I'm going to give this another good clean off, get all those bits of silicon out of there and we'll reassemble this. Okay, once you've got this all clean and dry, just do a final inspection. Just make sure if you're using that drill to clean those holes out that there's no little nicks or burrs that are sticking up. I don't want anything that's going to get in the way. Um, also make sure that channel is clear. Also make sure that no debris has got into this oil pickup here. Um, you don't want to stuff things up there. Also make sure that this piece, this baffle here, is all clean and dry. And we'll stick it back in. Also make sure that this dipstick hole here is clean and there's no debris or anything in there as well. So they get done up. Okay, so this piece should be nice and clean. There shouldn't be silicon sitting around this edge here. Pop that in place. Next thing you want to do is put a bead of silicon around. I run my bead on the inside of these uh, screw holes, but then we're just going to do a light smear anyway all the way around. We don't need too much on here. And this is where you think you can be really neat with things and you suddenly realise you can't. Okay, now, clean finger. Just going to do a nice smear around. If I've put too much on, now's the time to take it off. Now, I kind of just go over the holes like this and then I clean the holes up once it's on. And I've probably gone on a bit thick here, so I'm kind of wiping a fair bit off as I go. So again, I just want to make sure that that channel in there is nice and clear. So that that extra silicon's got somewhere to go. And then I'm just going to pop out the extra silicon out of these holes. You want to do this all fairly quickly because the silicon will start setting. Okay, now we're going to zip back underneath the engine bay. Now while you've left this, it's fairly typical that you will get some oil drips. So just clean those up. Now there's a couple important spots to get some extra silicon and that's where this joint is here and here. And also on this side where that bearing cap joins in there. So I'm gonna just get an extra little bead of silicon in along there. In along there. And up in there. I'm just gonna do a nice smear. I don't wanna push it all away, but just wanna have a good coverage there. And then we're going to run the sump up there. It's great to have a couple of bolts in your hands ready to go, just to hold it in place. 
also be careful of this that you don't smear your silicon out of place because um, it's a really quite tight fit up and into there. If you've got one of these side bolts here, it's quite easy just to push it up and get one of these in place. And that can hold that end. And then I want to get one of these smaller ones and get it started up in there. I'm going to run around and put these bolts in, but I'm really just putting them in quite loosely initially. Now that they've just all been nipped up, it's time to torque these three up. Now I found a bolt here for this missing one that's been knocked out. Okay, so just doing a final pass. So these were 40 newton meters or 30 foot pounds. That's those three. Okay, with those, with those three torqued down, I'm now gonna torque these ones down. They're 89 inch pounds or about 10 newton meters. Um, I'm sort of just gonna do a couple of passes all the way around. These ones up here, I'm not gonna be able to get my torque wrench in there. Um, so I'm just gonna to have to guesstimate a little bit with those ones. So 10 foot-pounds. If you go tighter than this, you're likely to squeeze all that silicon out and strip these little threads. Don't forget the two that are up in here. And again, I'm gonna use a spanner for this one. If you're not sure how tight to go, you can put it on one of the others and just get a feel for how tight it is. but I'm pretty happy with how that's looking there. 